Well, some people have requested it, so here it is. This is going to be a quick look, or whatever you want to call it, of the Dell Inspiron 14Z. Uh, I did an unboxing, that should be my last video, but uh, people wanted to see it up and running, so I'm going to give you that. So, here it is. Sorry about the kind of dark thing, but uh, the light helps with that a little bit. But there it is, Dell Inspiron 14Z. So, um, here it is. Uh, we have the Dell logo there. Uh, there's my camera strap. Sorry about that. Uh, Dell logo, power button over there, chiclet style keys that are very comfortable. It's got the chroma around it, looks kind of nice. It's not overkill. Um, Core i3 and Windows 7 stickers there. Touchpad here, you can disable it with this button right there. And then that little yellow light will come on up there. And then down here we have the port, or the uh, power indicators for power, uh, hard drive access, battery charge, and Wi-Fi. On the side of the unit, we have, on the left side, I mean, we have a 3-in-1 card reader. This is very, very helpful, and I highly appreciate that. Uh, we have a vent. This thing stays pretty cool, even when uh, during heavy use. Right here, we have a port cover. These things are a pain in the ass. I do not like these at all, but um, they feel like they might break off after a couple years. But, um... They're, they're not the worst port covers I've ever used, but they're they're really, that's just kind of annoying. At least it keeps the ports clean, that's one thing. We have a USB 2.0 there, HDMI, and mini display port. Um, no VGA or DVI, by the way. You're going to have to buy a mini display port adapter, I would think. Uh, right here we have our DVD RW drive. It reads pretty much every DVD you would ever want. Um, there it is. I had never even used it. I don't even... <laughs> I never even used it yet. Um, side, another freaking port cover there. Uh, enclosing uh, one USB, uh, no, sorry, one headphone port and two USB 3s. Uh, I haven't tested any of these ports yet. Well, actually, I have. Never mind what I'm saying. But um, I don't have any USB 3.0 devices, so I haven't tested any transfer speeds. Uh, right there, we have a uh, Kensington lock on the back of the unit. We just have an Ethernet port. I'm not going to pull that port cover off. The battery that lifts the system up about a half inch. And then over here, we just have the power. So, yeah, that's that. So, let's go ahead and get into the specs on this thing. I'm going to go ahead and uh, to go ahead and to click the properties here. Um, before I start, though, uh, the screen. The screen is um, pretty good. Very good uh, color contrast and all that. But um, I do have a dead pixel right... Where is it? I don't know where I'm pointing right there I don't I don't know if you guys can see that but I do have a dead pixel somewhere and oh yeah there it is you can see it turn the light off here yeah, you can see that little one little dead pixel right there I know the camera ain't in focus but it's there so I do have a dead pixel or a stuck pixel actually it's not dead um, it looks black in the video but it's actually pink so I think I'm gonna try a uh, uh, like a pixel fixing program where you just leave it run for about 20 minutes and it, it might fix it. Uh, that's not a quite pr big problem. Like if it stays there, uh, I really don't care. So, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, let's get on with the specs here. here we, here's the specs. It has a Intel Core i3 2350M, 2.3 gigahertz. It has a 3 megabytes of cache, I think. Uh, dual core with hyper threading, so it appears as a quad core processor. Sandy Bridge, all that good stuff. Uh, it's got 4 gigs of DDR3 RAM, 3.9 usable, 64 uh, bit operating system. That's something that's cool. Um, so, yeah. And then over here we have the 4.8 uh, base score. Here's the other scores there graphics 6.7. Memory, or no, processor 6.7, memory 5.9, graphics 4.8, gaming graphics 6.2, and hard drive 5.9. So those are pretty good scores, but this is a new laptop, so that would make sense. Uh, it has a 500 gig hard drive. Let's go ahead and open that here. There it is right there. So, yeah. And I do like that it came with um, some of the software. Uh, normally, uh, new PCs come with a bunch of crappy-ass bloatware, but this one actually wasn't too bad. I only uninstalled about five programs. All the other ones I knew I'd be using at some point, like Adobe programs and stuff like that. So, Dell did an okay job on the bloatware. It wasn't that bad. So, there you go. 
So yeah, that's about it for the Dell Inspiron 14Z. Very nice computer, and I'm glad I bought it. So that's just a really quick look at it. So thanks for watching.